Hey guys, Rish here. Today I got a quick tutorial on how you can fix your lag and FPS that occurs in Black Ops 3 multiplayer mainly and also in zombies and basically just in the whole game. This is caused by a recent Steam update which causes the game to check for DLCs. So this fixes the menu stuttering, it fixes all the multiplayer lag and it fixes it in zombies too. So this should fix everything. The link to the guide will be in the description and also my config files so it will make things easy for you. So if you want to follow along click the link in the description to look at the guide and um, follow along with the video. When you download the program your antivirus might mark it as malware but this is an open source software that's on github so you can see the source code. It's uh, very unlikely to have malicious code so to avoid problems uh, disable your antivirus temporarily or whitelist the software so that it allows it through the antivirus. So the first thing you want to do is go and click the link to the github and download the Koala Geddon installer and the second thing you want to do is click the other link and download the config file I'll have my config file but I'll also have this config file available so you can choose which config file you want. Once you've downloaded the Koala Geddon installer, run the application and install the application. You can install it for all users or just one user. If you have multiple users on your computer, install it for all users. But if you don't, just install it for this user. Once you click install, run through the whole setup, accept the terms, click next and click carry on clicking next and make sure it makes a desktop shortcut to allow easy access to the directory and once it's done click finish after that go to your desktop and check for the koala geddon application run it and make sure you select steam and click create desktop shortcut for configuration file also click open config directory to make things slightly easier and just keep that open or minimize it for later once you've done that click install platform integrations and then click OK and it should be installed correctly. I'll have my config file linked in the description. All you have to do is download and copy my config file into this directory and replace the current config file that's in the directory. I have two versions of the config file, one for if you don't have any or if you only have some DLCs for Black Ops 3 and one if you have all the DLCs for Black Ops 3 which is the one I use. Right click the config file that you should have already downloaded and replaced. It should be called config.json.c. Right click it and make sure you click open with and then make sure you open it with notepad. You might have to click show more applications and then click notepad or wordpad. I have it here open in wordpad. As you can see it shows all the DLCs in this blacklist list. So all you have to do is remove the names and the numbers of the DLCs that you have just like I'm showing on screen. Once you've deleted all the DLCs that you do have make sure it says enabled true at the top instead of enabled false. This has to be enabled true before you start BO3 and when you end BO3 you're gonna have to change it back to enabled false for this method. Make sure you save the document. Once you're done with that then you should be all done with the config file for this method. If you don't want to manually enable and disable it when running BO3, you're going to have to manually add the games that you play on Steam into the list. You can do this by going to steamdb.info and searching the name of your game and adding it to the list with a Steam app ID code. Add it in between Mortal Kombat 11 and Apex Legends and make sure it has a comma after the number and a double forward slash before the text of the name of the game. This will make this disable when you're running any other game than BO3 which makes it easier rather than enabling and disabling manually but make sure this is done for every game that you play on Steam. Also make sure it says enabled true at the top and make sure to save the document before closing it. If you have all DLCs, all you have to do is just replace the config file with my config file that says all DLCs and you won't need to do anything else except add the games that you play that aren't BO3. If you're going to manually enable and disable it through the config file, you won't need to do this. If you're not sure what DLCs you have, go to your Steam library, then right click Black Ops 3, click properties, then click DLC and it'll show you all the DLCs that you have. Once you've done that, it should fix all the lag in the menus and also fix the lag in the game, mainly multiplayer, which was only giving me 40 fps before this but now i'm getting steady 120 fps that's the end of the tutorial if you have any issues or need any help let me know in the comment section below and i'll try and reply and help you out also if this worked for you please leave a comment saying that it worked to let everyone know and also make sure to like the video
Also, if you like Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 3 Zombies, which I mainly play, I stream daily at 9pm UK time, 4pm EST or 1pm PST. And I'm currently grinding for world records oh. under the Ice and Dracker Easter Egg speedrun. So if you want to come for that, link is in the description to my Twitch. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you can just watch from my YouTube page. I hope this tutorial helped you. Hit that subscribe button for more zombies. And I'll see you guys on the next stream or video.